skipped a week, so I think we should have a summary. Yeah, I think we need a summary. Just a summary. I think we need a summary. Okay. Hi, Shavuoto. I can't hear Bernie. Can he hear us? You don't hear him. Maybe I'll hear something. Oh, you know what? This light is bothering people. Hi, Shavuoto. Shavuoto. No, maybe. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody had an easy fast. Okay, Sam, and you? Everything is good. That was a nice picture of the welcoming yeah. of Shishina. Oh, you saw it? Oh, yeah, yeah, so nice. Glad you saw it. Thank you. So you know, nice. Nice with the friends and family. We met another Marciano today at the Walter Fine Hill He's, uh, he's a, uh, uh, He owns a winery in Hebron. Oh, right, right. It's a cousin. Um, it's um, it's um, Simon's nephew, me, Simon uh, Benayim, his nephew. Yeah. Oh, he's visiting here? He's visiting his, his uncle, yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. We met him this morning. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Now we can hear you. Okay, right. Well, for some reason, my so laptop and my yeah, desktop yeah. doesn't work. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, well, can you take away this thing here so I can see you? I'm trying to do that here. Okay. I've always spelled Bernie's name wrong. B-E-R-N-Y? Yes. Wow. Change it. Welcome to the screen. Okay. Back up. Let me get it here. Okay. You want this? Maybe your other computer. You want to try? I'm going to do it. See if I get it. Abuwa Tov, everybody. Abuwa Tov. Abuwa Tov, Barbara and Ellen. Yes, how are you? We are in uh, Shmore Bay, Karakut Bay. And this is the parak where Nosti uh, Hanavi was talking uh, to Tavra Mela. And we'll just review because we've taken a, we took a break last week after Tisha B'Av. Also call it by Yishlach Hashem as Nosti Hanavi. Somebody, see, I think someone has to mute. There's a lot of somebody noise. has to mute. Okay, everybody should mute their device. Okay, that's we can't get on the desktop, but will you hear us? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Mute. Mute. So we said that Nosan Novi is sent by Hashem to Dovi. By Avoy Lav, by Omer Loshnan, and he, he doesn't confront him directly. He confronts him with a marshal. We explained that it was not to embarrass him. He came sort of as a private citizen. Um, he did it be He wanted David to uh, basically do vidui, to recognize that he had sinned. Two people in the city, one was rich, one was poor. The Meforshim explained that, oh, let's go to base. To the wealthy man, he had sheep and cattle. Let's 
to the poor man didn't have anything. Just a uh, little shepsel. He kept it alive. It, it, it grew up with him. The embod of Yachtov with his children. It ate from its bread. It drank from its cup. It slept in his breast. It was like a daughter to him. The man went to the rich man. The rich man didn't want to have Rachmanis on his own sheep and cows. And the rich man sacrificed the poor man's sheep to feed him as an oreach. What's an oreach? Uh, yes. That's the marshal. And the, the Mephorshim C actually is a Gemara and Sukkah Nun Beis. Vavo Helech Liisha Asher Amarava. This is talking about the Yetzer Hara. Betchila Kara Helech. Just a visitor. Or, or no, just a passerby. Ulvasov Kara Oreach. Then he's like a visitor. Ulvasov Kara Ish. Then he's a full, full fledged person. And Holech who over derech alav ve'enu misaskin imo derech achsonoi. Person who's just passing by. Or reach who's who achsonoi. A reach is a guy who's visiting with you. And the ish represents a balabayis. So the novi is saying to Davi ki ayetzer hara shabo shabo bechet bat sheva. The fact that you listen to your yetzer hara with bat sheva initially mitchila laholech. Initially, it was just a pass, passing, passing by. Then you invited him as a guest. He becomes a balabais. And the marsha sees an allusion to the first word Helech to when he spied Batsheva Gag Vayar Isha Malagag, right? That's where he first saw Batsheva taking a bath on the roof. Then it says, right? Eventually, he had relations with her, but then she went back to her house. So she's an Oreach. Eventually, it led to Uriah being killed. And then the Yetzirah becomes a Balabais. Now, Posuk Hei, Vayicharaf David Be'yishma'od. So, by the way, up until now, David has no clue that this is all referencing him. He thinks Nosson is giving a real case. And when David hears what this man did, the person who did this is worthy of being killed. It says in Mishle, that when you steal from a, from a person, it's like you take his soul especially when you steal from a poor portion. Rashi brings the pshat that and quoting the Pesach in the Yuv. Of course, we know Besdin does not put someone to death by being a, a thief. So it's like considered Misa Bidei Shamay or the before, some of Forsham explained that the king you're not chayv misam in a Torah, but a king, like eminent domain, the king for various reasons can pass his own law. Own law. And again, up until now, David doesn't realize this is referring to him. 
How, how could he not realize that? I mean, it sounds, you know, it's like thinking that David is, you know, like oblivious. He, he didn't make any connection? Not yet. Well, David probably rationalized, at least that's what I you know, think it means, that, that uh, Uriah had given Bacheva a jet, and therefore, she, uh, before he went to the battle. Therefore, he didn't feel that he sinned, so that he couldn't connect right. himself. But, but didn't he see that it's unseemly? That you know what, um, I think he did not, there wasn't even a shred of uh, guilt in any way. He not really this, felt exactly. he would, not that this, he would, it, this would even come up as referring to him, which is, you know, amazing. So the Pasuk says, so David continues with what he thinks the din should be. He should pay four times the amount of the sheep. Now we know that when you when you steal a sheep and you shecht it, you have to pay four times, and five times when it with a cow. It's because he didn't have mercy on the poor person. Ernie, now, can I quote something from the Mayam Loes uh, that he takes from Tehillim? I just is it. By passing ju this judgment, because David Amelach says, Chayash, uh, right? By El Nosan, Chayashem ki ben no Mobes Israel says that. Uh, he's passing judgment on himself. He essentially trapped himself and provided Satan with a pretext. Then he says, Thus Duma, the ministering angel in uh, hell, uh, demanded the verdict be carried out. As David says in Tehillim, in uh, Perak Tzadik Dalit, uh, 94, had God not been my help, Duma would soon have put to rest my soul. Only by uttering this, these words was David uh, admitting that he had sinned against God and was thus saved, for the one who admits his sin and abandons it is forgiven. That's all I want to say. Okay, we're gonna see that David at, at some point clearly recognize that he sinned and, and he confesses. There, what the Mehamelez is, he's, there, Mehamelez is seeing allusions even in the earlier psukim that already David is understanding what's going on. Rashi brings under Yishalem Arbatayim Kach Irilo. If in fact, by announcing that the person should have to pay four times the sheep, this happens to David. David Amelech has Tsaris from four of his children. Right. Hayeled, we're going to see that the child that Batsheva is pregnant with is going to pass away. Amnon, we're going to see what happens with Amnon and Tamar. Avshalom. David That means that David, by saying four, you know, four times, it happened to him the four times. Um David, Ish. Very dramatic statement that Nosan says, No, you you were the person, you're the man. Israel. So Hashem says to you, Look what I did to you. I anointed you king. I saved you from Shoel. Up until now, David doesn't recognize himself as the perpetrator in this, but now he, he's told that by Nosson that you're the person. You're the Ashir in this Moshev. Pasuches. Vetnalachas beis Adonecha. I gave you the home, the house, we'll, we'll read it, uh, of Shoal. You, as a Melech, are entitled to marry his wives. is basically So, David inherited, after the death of Ish-Boshet, the house of Shoal. 
the wife of Shaul was Egla, and Micha was the daughter of Shaul. So these are the two women sort of that belong to Shaul. One was his wife, one was his daughter. There was also, Shaul had a Pilegesh, Ritzpa. And the Medrash says that David took him as her as a wife. And the Malbim says, not that he married the wives of Shaul, he had the right to do so. That's because a, a Melech can, can marry, the, nobody can marry the Alman of a king except another Melech. That's how the Malbim. Now, from here, from this Gemara, from this Pasuk, we learn a halacha in Sanhedrin Chafalev. The Pasuk says, Lo nashim. The king can't have a lot of wives. How many can he have? Shmona Esrei. He can have 18. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how do we know this? To see Shmuel Beis. It says in Shmuel Beis, by Vadula David Bani Mechavra. We learn this pasuk. He b'charo Amnon la'chinoma Yisraelis. U'mishneu kalev la'vigayel eishas novel. That's two. Vashlishi of Shalom ben Macha. That's three. Varvis Adonia ben Chagid. That's five. No, that's four. That refers to Michal. Like this and like this. So six times three is 18. It's how you end up with 18. So this pasuk, the Gemara learns, uh, is the source for how many wives a, a Jewish king can have. Pasuk test. Madua bazita dvar Hashem. Why did you sort of not have respect for the dvar Hashem? La sota rab be'enai. And you did evil. Et Uriah chiti hikita b'cherem. You caused Uriah to be killed. Vet ishto lakatol chali isha and his wife you took. And you caused him to die through the sword of Neamon. So we see what was the chet of David according to Rav Nosan Anovi. Remember, I want to, the, we're quoting the Gemara again in Shabbos Nun Vav. David Chata Ena Whoever says David's sin is mistaken. So based on that, how do we explain these psukim that clearly show David to be in the wrong? And it says David is telling him that he sinned. The Gemara there says, when it says, Madua Bazita Dvar Hashem Lazosara, Rabbi Oimer, Mishuna Rosa Mikol Rosh Torah. This evil is more evil than anything in the Torah. It doesn't say he did it. He says lasos. He wanted to do it, but he didn't do it. Then when it says, says the Gemara of Danta. Yes, he was a Mord Malchus. Remember, we explained he didn't follow David Amelach's command. But you shouldn't have killed them or sent them to be killed. You should have taken them in Sanhedrin. The Gemara learns that because this Pesach says you had Lekuchin, Lekuchin implies Kiddushin. If you tried to marry an Eish Ish, you could not have Kiddushin with an Eish Ish. So this Pesach is testifying that she was not an Eish Ish. So the question we have now based on that Gemara, what kind of taina does Nosan Anovi have to, in this puzzle? I want to learn 
the Maharal in the Be'er Gola, who gives us an understanding in this. That which it says, Masha Katuv Mispar, the Sapir Maisa Batsheva Shechot Adovi, the Gam Shahar Gasur Yachiti, who Mipne Shalohaya Makbid David Alachet. It seems that David was trifling with Chet. He wasn't Makbid, be careful about not sinning. Says the Maral, Sha'af Shekol Ayotze Lemechomis Place David, get creases, Koitz of Lishto. Like Bernie pointed out. Even though David understood that his soldiers would give his wife, his wife a divorce, if he didn't return in a certain amount of time, that it would be a get. Now, David didn't know Vaday Loyoda David when he had relations with Batsheva Kiloyazar Oria. Remember, remember this Machlokas Rashi and Tosfis, whether or not they give a get completely, or whether the get is given on condition that he doesn't come back in six months. Well, Dovi didn't know that Uri wasn't going to come back. Says the Maral, in Cain, Dovi wasn't thinking the fact that she might have been a divorced woman. He didn't know at that time that Uri would not fulfill the condition of the Tanai. At a minimum, says the Maral, there was a doubt that she was an Eshesish. So David didn't really have a Tzad Het there when he lived with her. Says the Maral. If in fact, it was a case of more Bimachas, then David should have taken him to Sanhedrin. Says the Maral, Rak mipnei she tzofa Hashem yizbarach hachet v'vasheva. The tzofa gam kein she yarog esorei b'yisra sivev zesh Hashem yizbarach. Shuhu yizbarach hayarot se sheyem David. V'lachen garam Hashem yizbarach sheyimrod uriah b'machos based David. Says the Maral, Hashem wanted David to be with Batsheva. He created a situation that Uriah was a moir b'machos. Ad sheyichayv misa. And therefore, he didn't. This is mitzad Hashem yizbarach. Shayarot siliosi mod. Hashem wanted to be with David. Lachen sivev davar ze. Avo mitzad David atzmo lo hayaze. Lekach hakosuv miyachiz achet le David kilos achet ad kan. So based on the maral, Hashem made it so that really David didn't end up sinning. But in in reality, David was not being mocked carefully about staying away from sin. And that's what he's being taken to account for here. Wasn't it, Marty, wasn't he given, wasn't he told Ben Buah that he would be with Elish, with Batsheva? Yes, so and, that, and she got the same nevoah. Mm -hmm. It's so exactly that kind of, what <laughs> David v'gam Batsheva yadu bin nevoah, shehi bat zuga shal David. The David Ayakvar Begil Gavov, Adain Lohailo Yeroish Lamachuso. David really didn't have an heir yet. Ushneem Ratsula Sosma, the Kaiman of Wushi, you love me, I'm Shlomo Melech. Ach Tau da Dailo Giazman. Their mistake was they, should, they didn't have patience. David wanted to have relations with Bashev at Lishem Ishus, and that it should be his wife. He can't do it. That uh, he would, it would, it wouldn't be seemly. People would think he'd stole or his wife. So, and he did. And he I don't did. know. They always try to wash it. He did steal his wife, even though she wasn't his wife technically. He tried to hide it when she was pregnant. I don't know to get rid of the husband. Very hard to understand this whole. <laughs> Now, it's very interesting that the Rav Schwab says that the marshal is, 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 is not the way that most of them are forcing. First of all, what do we need the marshal for? Couldn't he just tell them directly what's going on? And he asks other cautious on the marshal. 
So the Rav Shrab says that both the wealthy man and the poor man are both David Amela. Sometimes David is called an Oni. Like it says, Tfila Oni. And sometimes he's called Tfila David. So sometimes he's wealthy, he sometimes be, he's poor. When would he be referred to being poor? When he sins? Or? No, in, when he says in Tehillim. It says oh. in Tehillim, Tfila Oni Yatov. He's referring to himself. As referring to him, that's how a Schwab learns that that the marshal is referring to David Amalek, that sometimes he's referred to as a rich man and sometimes he's referred to as a poor man. That's the Shnei Anoshim Ayu Achas. That's the two people living in the same city. And the Kivsa refers to Dveikas Ba'ashem. And He's showing David both Matzav Tov and, and also Matzav Ra. But it all comes from Hashem. But Nasan definitely did not want him to be publicly humiliated for this. He's doing he everything quietly. Exactly. He's doing everything quietly. Bechidus. But there are consequences to David's act. It says Pasuk Yud. V'yata lo tasur cherem v'etecha ad olam. First of all, many of your descendants are going to be killed by the sword. We know um, various kings in the future are going to die. And that's, we also mentioned the Yeled, Amnon, Tomer, Bav Shalom. So the question is, David has been living now with Bathsheba for a few months. Why is Nosson waiting a period of time and they've had a child already? Why didn't he come before when he took Bathsheba as a wife? Because the Iker Taina is Shabozas Dvar Hashem and it's a Chilal Hashem that on his level, it's not Roy. And the Iker Chilal Hashem is that he had this child that was born and everybody knew that it was from him and not from Uriah. So the child died? Not yet. Oh. But the question is, why is Nosson coming now after the child is born? Why did he come the, mo the moment when he took, he took Bathsheba as a wife? In the people's eyes, it was not right. It was Chilal Hashem. Like what Esti is saying, that people knew about it. There is going to be evil coming from your own home. Who is that going to be? Of Shalom. Your wives will be taken from you. Of Shalom slept with David's wives. And Amnon as well, right? Well, Amnon slept with Tom. Right. So isn't that this is referring to Avshalom. Oh, oh, all right. I want to read a Radak. So what's going on here? The Navi is prophesizing that Avshalom is going to commit Aveira. So the Radak asks, Yesh Lishol, Ech Gazar Hakel Al Avshalom Sheyechta. It seems like the fact that Avshalom is nigzar to sin and to sleep with his wives is because David committed this sin. Is it Mida connected Mita? No. So Yesh Lefare, let's just read the Radak. Yesh Lefare. Ki ake lo gozer beferish al Avshalom v'lo iskiru b'shem. So first of all, Nowhere in this post does it say Avshalom by name. So, HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows the future. And he knows Avshalom is the one. And Bavur Tavas Nafsholakto. And Avshalom is going to sin because of his own Yetzirah. Lo Shael Gazar Lavlakto. 
Im lochat David ayakel monen she David ma'mitra al yedei avera. If it wasn't for the fact, says the Radak, that David sinned, Hashem would have made it that it wasn't David's wives that are going to be, uh, fall prey. He would have strained with other women, not David's wives. And remember, he's going to sleep with Pilag Aviv. A strict halacha, someone that a father sleeps with is permitted to a son. However, they are pilag she melech, a source of cholado. Now, the Mayam Lois brings another interpretation for why Avshalom sinned. Apparently, he was receiving advice from Achitofel. I don't know if Achitofa was a Novi at the time yep. of Avshalom. No, no, yes, he, 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 he could sleep with the father's concubine. So Achitofa based that based on Nasan Hanovi's prophecy. That's that's the rationale why he told Avshalom he could do it. Another like, issue is what about the Bechira? What about everyone is born with free will? Does does this somehow interfere in Avshalom's free will? Let's learn the Rambam, Hilchas Tshuva. Nenshu Mitzrayim agolot Yisrael sham, afal pi shekvar amar kadosh baruch Yisrael you gorim baris olam. Remember, Avraham Avinu was told that. Uh, the Bnei Israel, the children of Yaakov, are going to have to live in a, a land not of their own. So then, if this is already Nigzar by Kodesh Baruch, why should you blame the Mitzrim for it? Says the Rambah. It wasn't a specific Gzer and a specific person. So therefore, Kol Oisam Amrim Yisrael, Ido Lorotza Kol Echad Biyado. Each person can choose not to do evil. Here also, Kan Loi Nixar Alav Sholem Shi Yaz Akach De Zayam and Yaz Bechira. So the Rambam doesn't see the removal of of Av Sholem's Bechira here. However, many people have a problem with this. How is it that Hashem can have Yedi about the future, and the person still has Bechira to do what he wants? Tois V'Sanida says, Hech Shayech Shayan Nevulah Chizkiyah Shabnom Nasha Yer Rosha. Chizkiya Melech is given a Nevua that his son Menashe is going to be a Russia. So Tosfus himself asks the question if a Navi is going to give a future statement and Hashem knows it, well, does that affect the person's Bechira? And this is a very famous Rabbah, Menilchas Tshuva. Shema Toimar, I'm reading the Rabbah. Hashem knows the future. If Hashem knows that a person is destined to be a tzaddik, he after tzaddik. Well, if Hashem knows that the person can be a tzaddik, the person has to be a tzaddik. The imtoma tzaddik if the person was going to be a tzaddik, but then he has a possible ability of being a rasha, then Hashem doesn't know the thing completely. So it seems to be a paradox. Says the Rambam, Da, Shetshuvas she'lazu arucha me'eretz mida rechavim iniyam. The answer to this paradox is as wide as the universe. The kama ikarim g'doylim v'aroim ramim tluyim ba. Great mountains and principles hang on this. You have to understand what I say. People have a way of separating their inside and knowing outside knowledge. Shehem v'daitam shnai. A human being and their thoughts are two different things. Elohu yitala shmo v'daito echad 
he and his das is the same thing. Our human intellect can't really understand that. Just like, so that we as humans really can't understand this aspect of Hashem. Like it says in Parshas Kisisa, we can't understand how the divine intellect functions. My thoughts are not your thoughts. We don't understand how it is that Hashem knows everything, yet there's still Bechira. Avadabolo Sophic says the Rambam, Shemaisa Adam Biada Adam. A person's actions are in his own hands. Vena Kodesh Brochu Moshko Velo Gozer Lav Lasos Kach. Velobe Vei Kabola Sadas Bulvad No Dada Merze. El Berias Bros Medivra Chachma. He says philosophy shows the same thing. Therefore, Don in Esa Adam Al Masa, if he Masa Vim Tov Vim Ra. So it's an important Rambam which explains this concept of Hashem might know something in the future, but uh, we still have our own Bechira. It's not something that's easily explained. Pasuk Yud Beis. Ki sita baseter. Ernie, can you hear me? Sorry. We can hear you, yes. Um, so the question I have for you is, uh, if everybody has Bechira to do uh, the will, uh, uh, the right thing, then how come this decree of punishment to future generations, descendants of David HaMelech, continues all the way to Mashiach? I mean, I, Rabbi Huda Nasi was also a direct descendant, right? So how do you explain that uh, based on, on the explanation of the Rambam talking about Bechira? Well, the each person get each person, each person is judged as an individual. So Menashe Melech, who's a product of David Melech, was a Russia, and got his his got his punishment because of his actions. It would just we were explaining if how could it be that Hashem has foreknowledge of someone as a tzaddik or. Uh, can he do anything else other than be a tzaddik? Yes, he can. Where the Rambam says the person still has a bechira to do to be a tzaddik or a rasha. Does that does that answer what you what what was bothering you or not? No, I guess what what's bothering me is why the punishment carries on all the way into the coming of the Mashiach and David. So it's just hard to understand. That's well, first all. Of, first of all, what we the medrash we lent we learned said that David was going to be punished by four, by his Yeled, Adon, Tamar, and Avshalom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where, where did, did, did you bring up the Medrash that David Amalek is, is punished until Mashiach? Where is that from? Um, it doesn't really say. It just the... Um... You, scripture uses the term forever, indicating that the punishment will last until the time of the ultimate redemption. Only then will the sword depart from the house of David. Then the Messiah will punish the wicked, not with the sword, but with the breath of his mouth. What does that mean? Okay, no, so the, the, he bring, uh, Bernie is bringing a raya that the, this, basically the, 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 this klala, that is being told to David will, will remain forever, yes? This cherev will remain in the house of David. You don't see that Rabbi Yudan Nasi was killed by a cherev. Yudan Nasi died of a ripe old age. But it did, it did continue in, in various, Yoshia Melech, who was Melech Yehuda, was killed by arrows. Let's see but further. Was, Let's see Pesukyut Beis. Isn't there an aspect where he, Generationally, you can be punished. Uh, like, isn't there like for the Chaita Egel that that was a punishment that maybe lasts, lasts for future generations? Well, yeah. we had a member, Elia Kohen, was given a klala that his children won't survive beyond 18 or 25, right? 
We brought Gomorrah's a buy and rubber word from Beit Sali. So there are examples where uh, certain clawless appear in families because of things that they had done. We clearly see that. There's further. So, you, so, you, yes. so the Jews are punished for things that they they themselves didn't commit. Well, again, we don't. There's a there, there's going to be a tendency for that to occur, but we're going to see in each case a person is deserved of whatever punishment by something that he does. The Rambam says very clearly that the bechir of the person is not taken away. If if even if he's judged. Somehow he's going to be a tzaddik in the future. Uh, he still can. He still have the bechira not to. Some say it's for Hashem. It's like a he sees the video way in advance. He doesn't change. Doesn't interfere in the person's bechira, but he knows what the person is going to choose. It doesn't affect his ability to choose, though. But you could be, let's say, like you were. You could be a sinner, and if you did shuva, it's like you start all over. So you have yes. the ability to be a tzaddik. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it doesn't preclude um, a person having sins. No, no, absolutely not. But if you were in the house of Ailey, it was like a genetic disease that was in, in, infected that family that they didn't live beyond a certain age. We, we, had, we have many examples in the Gomorrah that from the house of Ailey that, that lasted even thousands of years. And like Bernie just said, it, 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 it's going to stick to the house of David and Melech as well. So this is not a, what happened to David here is not a trifle. This affects him and his generations forever. Let's read Pasuk Yud Beis. Ki atasita basete. You thought that everything was going to be hidden from view. But Vaniya said to Navar said, Neged ko Yisrael, Neged Hashemesh. Hashem says, no, but I'm going to publicize it. It says in Avos, kol machal Hashem shamayim baseser nefram yimena begalui. If there's Chilol Hashem, even if you try to do it secretly, it's going to be, it's going to be publicized. And that happened with David as well. So, so here comes the most important pasuk. Yud Gimel. Vayomer David el Nason Chatasi Lashem. Period. Remember by Shola, by Shola Melech, he's confronted. He gives this terrace and this terrace. David immediately says, I admit to my sin and I'm a choyte. And because of David's Balchuva, even though on some degree, it, this whole episode should have led to David's death. You will not die uh, for this. That's a Gemara in Yuma Peivav. Radak brings Avol Pishatachayv Misa Hashem Kibel Yisvaducho Tshuva Sechav Lo Tomusata. The fact that you admit it and you're doing Tshuva, you won't die. Now, apparently, the Medrash says that uh, David was either uh, fell sick and was bedridden for thirteen years, or he fasted over a period of thirteen years, trying to do tshuva. Correct. Now, is the question is, was David's sin a chilol Hashem? Because it says in Yuma Peivav, "Mi shi eshol chilol Hashem biyado en lo koch betshuva litlois." Tshuva doesn't help. V'lo biyom akipurim lechaper. V'lo biyisurim lemarek. Kulan toilin umisa memarekes. You need misa. So if the sin is chil Hashem, you need Misa to be mechaper. So some say, Hashem, 
because of his tremendous vidu in tshuva. Some say niskayem achiyuv misa yide misa sayeled. The higher kechelik shul David atzmo. The Shari Tshuva says that there's a yeshbo tikunim lechilu Hashem. Ha'echad sheyasa kiddush Hashem ba'be sheyasa betoyla. So the way to solve this problem is the person could do kiddush Hashem and he can study Torah. Some say since the this all of these punishments of David became famous. And everybody knew that his sorrows came because of his sin. That was a great Kiddush Hashem. Because people recognize that there's a din and a dayan. That there's, there's, a, there's a judge and judgment given out. And the, the kapor, the chilol Hashem, even without Misa. That's a good shot, I think. There's other issues the Meshachachma brings that the Aver with Basheva, there was no Chil Hashem there. Who saw that? But that's but it became a Chil Hashem. Remember when he gave that letter to Uriah and that to send, gave the letter to Yoav to send Uriah to the wall. Then everyone knew about it. Then it became a Chil Hashem. That's why he was so upset with Yoav and he told Shlomo Melech that he shouldn't let Yoav go to his grave easily. Pasuk Yudalit. Efes, ki niyetz niyatsa soyve Hashem, badavar hazeh, gama ben ha-yelod l'cha amos yomus. That this is going to give a pitchon peh to people who, who, are, who hate Yiddishkeit, to, that if, it, look, Dovra Melech did all these things, to chil Hashem, so the child will die. And we gave some tirutzim why he needed this as well, because of this to be mechaper for chil Hashem. Well, uh, Bacheva also got punished if she lost her child. Okay. So vayelech nosen beso. Nason separated from David as if to say, you're a rush, I'm going to stay away from you. And the plague that befell the child. David Davins. of David Son and David Fass. He's like a Velas. He sleeps on the floor. The Malbim says, even if there's a gzera, moelas tfila, tfila works. And therefore, David is palal, baranar. The Machlok is Tanoim in Rosh Hashanah whether tfila can work after gzardin. According to the Tana, who holds that it can't work, um, what is that Tana going to say? Why did David do this? It says in one pasuk, "Asher lo Hashem doesn't. If somebody sin, he, he, he's not bribable. Another pasuk says, "Yisha sampon Hashem will turn his face towards you. The Gemara says, "Kan koydin zardin, kan lachar zardin." That means Hashem will still be kind to a person before zardin, but after zardin, that's it. So, how can what, what what was David trying to accomplish here? So, there you find b'tshuva yidim laaver mikova kol. You can't get rid of the thing, and lahakel laoynesh, but you can make it easier. And maybe the Radak, the Sovar David, the Yoel Ktsat Shalo Yomus Ayelet. That make, because there were other, like Bernie pointed out, Cherev Lotavor, 
Maybe he thought that the, the child could be saved. Maybe the whole din is not going to be nisbatel, but this part of the din would be. So his courtiers tried to get David to get up. Now, the child's going to be sick for seven days and then die. Person can't fast for seven days. So they tried to get him up to eat. On the seventh day, the child dies. They want to inform David. He didn't listen to us while the child is alive. How are we going to tell that the child died? They were concerned that David was going to wound himself because of Misa Sayela to make like cuts in himself. How could they, it says Los is go to do, there's a lot. How could they be, how could they think that David would do it? It's an Isra Torah. So, so some say he was in such Tsar Godel that if they told him the death of the child, he would, he would do it below Kavana. But the truth was the Abde David thought that the fasting and all of this, what David was doing was because of, 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 of pain with the child, but no. Also David can let He was trying, all of this was to do tshuva for his sins. Pasuk test. Vayar David ki avod of miflach Hashim. So they were quiet. So David knew that something was up. So they said they asked him, did the child die? And they said yes. David got up, he washed. By Khalaif Sim Losov, he changes clothes. By Avobe Sashem by Ishtahu. By Avobe Tova Ishaba Simul Lechem by Ochal. So the Rambam says, Me Messiah is Chai Vodan Ba Ovel Mesh Ista Magola. You your avail starts when you bury the person. By Swedi. Calls Manchal and Nigbar May say no also but Dovim at Vorm Shah Evil Osterban. You can't, you don't, like, for example, an oil is allowed to wash or anoint yourself with oil or put on new clothes. So the child hadn't been buried yet. We learned, the Rambab learns these dinim from this case. Koidim Kvura says the Rosh Adain lo Chalavelus. And you're not usher in the things that an oil is usher with. Did we learn about being an Onan from here? The, the fact that you're not prohibited in the things that an ovel is prohibited in until the burial. It's learned from me because you see, David washed, changed his clothes, and the explanation is because they hadn't buried the child yet. Now, in the Shulchan Aruch, there's a machlokas between the Machaber and the Ramah whether an oinen can wash or not. The Shulchan Aruch says he can wash. The Ramos says no. So the Shaila is, according to Ramos, how could David do it? So there, the, in, the issue is about, is there aninus by a melech? Others say also there was no real aninus here because the child was a nafel. Any child that's not 30 days old is considered like a miscarried child, and there's no din avelis. That's how they're metarets these these issues. Posuk halal vayemru avdav elav ma davar zasher asita vavar yelad chayt samta v'tek. I understand. When the child was alive, you fasted for kasher. Meisa yelad kanta v'toch halachem. Now the child dies, and you're having a feast. 
again, they thought the, the Avod, the Avdei David thought that the Tzom was because of the Choyli Ayelet and not an Indian of Tvila. And we said already that David was doing it as Tshuva. Now, Rav Schwab, remember we explained the Marshal a little differently with Rav Schwab. David made a psak that the person should die, right? He said that the person who, who shechted that little sheep should die. So the Rav Schwab says, "Kivan the misa sayel al yakedei lekaim achiv misa shaposet given leishahu imkain achshav shekara me sayel this guy magzeir v'sulayel David see v'lit sabil." That he doesn't. There's no reason anymore to uh, to be to because the gzair was committed. That's the way Rav Schwab explains. Vayore b'oda yelad chayt samti vevke. While the child was alive, I fasted. I cried. Ki amarti mi yodeya v'chaneni Hashem v'chayelad. That because of my tshuva, maybe the child will live. Will live. Atan meit lama zanit sam al chalash yivo. My fasting is not going to bring the child back. Ani olech elav v'hu lo yashuv elai. I'm, in the, I'm going to go to him eventually. He's not going to come back. Vayinachem David is Bar Sheva Yishto. David comforted his wife. Vayavo Eleha Vayishkavim. Sorry, Ernie. In this whole thing, that's what, what's whatever. David, like, he's the king, so she had to listen to him. What was her sin that she had to suffer? She didn't cause her husband to die. You said they were divorced or whatever. So what was her sin? If your king commands you to come, you have to come. I think. I don't see anywhere where it says Bathsheba sin. So why is that a never that her child died because of David sin? So maybe that's why, I don't know. She got, uh, um, what's his name, Shlomo. So the, listen, uh, uh, Esti, what the Radak says. Barsheva was unconsolable and she did not want to live with David anymore. David's sin caused the death of my child. And even if we have a child, the brothers are going to treat him badly. Because I sinned with you in the beginning. So, so the Radak says, that's what it means, Vayinachem David is Vasheva. Omer lo David, hakel mocha liya'ovom. David told Vasheva that Hashem has forgiven him. Ve'aben ha'rishon sh'yeli mimchai imloch acharai. And this, the first son that we have will rule after me. I also told her that, you know, the, the Nevoah that he had, that she was his real wife from the beginning. So the Pasuk says, The name was Shlomo, and Hashem loved him. And the Mephoshim yeah. say, or his name was Shlomo Lahoros Kisholom Yabiyabo. There will be peace in his, in his life. It says in Divra Yomim, Kisholomo Yeshmo Vishalom Vasheket Eitain Al Yisrael Biyamo. So Kishmo Kainu Vaishlach Biyad Nosan Anavi. It came through Nosan Novi that this is a beloved child. So Vaikrat Shmo Yedidya Bavur Hashem. So he was called Yedid Hashem, the beloved of Hashem. Like it says, Yedid Hashem Yishkon Lavetach Chalav. Okay. We'll uh, we'll finish this up next week. Any questions or comments yeah. on what we learned tonight? It, it resolved some of our issues, correct? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long arc, this story. 
it, it, it's gone for three prakim. We see the beginning, the middle, and now the end. And we're going to see more of it because the punishments to David are not going to, are going to come as well in, in the next few prakim. Very Is the uh, main Shlomo also, could it relate to Shalem that uh, he was like complete, like maybe like the complete package, you know? Yeah, Melech Shalom Shalom and, and Shlemus. Yeah, well, well I, this is just the, these are just a few of the Mephorshim that, but this is the Divrei Ayamim. The Pasuk Divrei says very clearly, Ki Shalom Ayabiyama, that there was going to, because the Pasuk says multiple times that in the 40 years of Shlomo Melech's rule, there was peace. So, so th those, the Psukim give us that. But midrashically, you're correct. There's, there's other reasons why his name was Shlomo as well. Okay, get to vote. Okay, very good, everybody. Um, we will continue moving on. Thank you, Shkaya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank